So for those who are unaware of what happened, this is what I, I woke up to this actually. This morning I woke up and this is the first thing I saw on my phone. A giant ship knocked down the Baltimore Bridge. Vehicles could be seen falling in the water. I mean, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't think I could see any vehicles fall in the water. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can. Fell apart like Lego bricks? Yeah. <clears throat> I just crossed that bridge like a week ago. Thank God it was like in the middle of the night. But, here, let's go ahead and watch a little this bit more morning, on it. This morning, a stunning bridge collapse at the port of Baltimore. The entire key bridge is in the harbor. The Francis Scott Key Bridge plunging into Where the water Where was Mothman? Overnight yeah. After it was hit by a cargo container ship. It could be. Ship. One of the it could be. The thing was, ship hit the key bridge, sinking. The bridge is gone. Holy hell. Video shows smoke coming from the ship before it hit the bridge. The bridge is normally a major artery spanning the Patapsco River. And though the collapse happened in the early morning hours, 1.30 a.m. I mean, I don't know. To be honest, though, isn't it kind of interesting? Plane crashes today or car? Both. Isn't it planes crashing into cars? Let's do that. Uh, isn't it interesting? I don't know. You would think, like... It hitting one leg wouldn't cause the entire thing to collapse. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like that thing uh, was already on its last legs. Yeah, a design flaw. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the, the bridge must have been... It's a heavy boat. Well, obviously, the boat's fucking enormous. But, like, first of all, it wasn't, like, flying... It wasn't going crazy fast. And also, like, if it hits a giant pillar, it'll just maybe crack it a little bit. Maybe make a big dent. I wouldn't foresee it to literally just, like, cut the entire thing and then the whole thing falls. You know what I mean? Video shows cars crossing moments before the ship hits. The traffic then paused, but vehicles were still on the bridge as it then crumbled into the God water. God damn, that's scary. Fire department and Coast Guard teams rushed to the scene, rescuers searching the water overnight. Still very much in an active search and rescue posture. Our sonar has detected the presence of vehicles submerged in the water. The ship is an almost 950-foot container vessel called Dolly, headed from Baltimore to Sri Lanka. See what I mean? Like, also Definitely we're on the dead. water. Definitely dead. Well, I I two people were saved and like six people were missing. The Synergy Marine Corporation saying it collided with the bridge pillar and all of its crew members, including the two pilots. Look, altered picture frame. I get it. I I understand. I literally can see the cargo ship. I understand how large and massive it is. All right. But you got to think about multiple things. It's on the water. It's a big part of it. Buoyancy. B -b -b buoyancy And it is running into a pillar that is supposed to support cars driving on it. Many, many cars driving on it every fucking day. That's got to be a large, thick, concrete pillar, right? It is All I'm saying is it is quite surprising to me that this hitting a pillar could cause the entire thing to collapse. That's all I'm saying. Container vessel called Dolly headed from Baltimore to Sri Lanka. It the was basically all wires. So, so okay, so you're telling me that those giant concrete pillars that are going into the ground are wires? Synergy Marine Corporation saying it collided with the bridge pillar and all of its crew members, including... These things are wires? The two pilots have been accounted for. The ship reportedly lost power. The bridge, not the pillars. These aren't wires, chat. These are made of metal. Those aren't wires. It's not like like the one in St. Louis with like the bunch of like wires sticking out. This is this is metal, chat. Those are metal beams. Or while in the water. 
this morning with the sun rising search teams y'all that's a road <laughs> yeah you're right you know you're looking right on that for one any survivors in the water as the bulge look by the way i'm not trying to conspiracy theory this more all area right? reels from a major collapse i'm just saying i feel like the bridge was already bad like i feel like if it if that is what it took to collapse the bridge was already bad Tom, we know that there were vehicles in the water, as that official pointed out. The weather is very yeah. cold. So if there are survivors who are still in the water, how long can they safely remain in those cold temps? Oh, no, they're gone. Yeah, 40, 45 degrees in the water, 32 degrees outside right now where we are. We checked with the University of Minnesota. Yeah, if they Duluth, don't get saved right they're away, they're gone. seven minutes, if you're in the water, you start to uh, have exhaustion. And then you may have, if you're lucky, if you've got a flotation device, if you've got the right gear. Was this today? Yeah, this morning. You survive for an hour. So we or, are now yeah. several hours, almost six hours into this like episode. Really early in the morning. Survivability is, is really uh, potentially very very, very challenging, but overhead helicopters continue to search the water for any signs of survivors. And this is an all hands on deck effort in terms of It only of takes like Baltimore 30 seconds or Maryland so for a car to sink. Yeah. And surround I, uh, I really don't think many of them survive. Surrounding at counties all. all sending mass resources into this area. Is Bro going to get charged? Well, it was a malfunctioning uh, boat. Like the power was going on and off with the boat, and it was like billowing black smoke and, and stuff. Trying to find anybody who might be in the water. Which I just want to say, like, how does that affect, like, genuinely, like, how does that affect, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about this. If you're this ginormous ship, and there is a very, very large opening to go through, and even if, like, your power shuts off pretty far back. You should be headed toward the large opening, right? Sh shouldn't you be? Sh isn't that where you should be headed? The current? Look at the size of the boat. They're in a fucking river. What current? They're not in the ocean, bro. Are they in the ocean? Wait, they might be in the ocean. But regardless... They are in a small subsection of the water. They're not like out deep in the ocean where there's huge currents. Rivers have currents. No shit. They don't have the same big currents as a fucking ocean. River currents are not going to shit. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to lose it. Let's talk, Tom, if we could, about this cargo ship Already, itself. we just Earlier, started. You and I we were on the air. We could not even make out in the dark whether the ship was still afloat. We now see that it is. We've been told by authorities that the crew remains on the ship, including presumably the pilot of this vessel. Uh, it's called a captain. Pilot? What is the investigation? This is, is, is it a a spaceship? Law, you have to if you're if you're traveling these very complex waters of in and around the Baltimore Harbor and the Chesapeake Bay. You Pig, you look very handsome. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Doodles, for the prime. Have to have a local marine pilot on because it is so complex. Yeah. If we, I, we can even roll the video, Tom. In the moments before it hits this structure, this key part of the pylon the, of the bridge's structure, the ship looks dark. It looks like it's lost power. Yes, and there was one report that it had, in fact, lost power. Uh, the The fire department chief is saying that they will not put people on board that ship until they do a, a full damage assessment to determine how safe it is. And then they've got to evacuate the crew and determine how seaworthy the vessel is. However, at the moment, it seems to be fine. The NTSB will actually be running the investigation into how this happened. But I must say, the Yo, locals Doodles here the clown. Thank you so much are for the stuck the that this ship would, first of all, crash into one of these pylons. Again, we don't know if they had control of the ship. And secondly, stunned that this, that this bridge would be so vulnerable to collapse. See? See, it's not just me, you idiots. Even the news people, even the news people agree with me. All of you like, uh, well, I don't think you understand how big the ship is. Shut up.
acting like I'm an idiot. Perhaps with, with the ship hanging a pylon, just a whole series of questions that you can imagine the entire city is asking. I would make the point we are right up against, very close to I-95, that critical north-south corridor on the east coast. I-95 is open. How would you possibly stop the ship? You ever heard of an anchor? Oh, to, how do, how do ships even stop? It doesn't like they have. It's not like they have brakes. They deployed the anchor. Your mom deployed her, her anchor. Open six ninety five. However, is closed. Uh, and so, if if you are planning to come up and down the East Coast, be aware that the area around Baltimore is going to be really, really uh, tr pr trying and problematic, just in terms of traffic. And the port of Baltimore itself, one of the busiest in the country, is going to be reeling from this and trying to determine how safe it is to move ship traffic in and out. I think they could just drive over it. All right. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you guys. So, um, a few friends in my discord were, uh, cause I was talking about how there was people who were being, uh, uh, like very conspiratorial, right? Yeah. That's the thing that, that here's, here's just a few of them. The Baltimore, Maryland bridge collapsed this morning. This looks pretty deliberate to me. It rammed straight into one of the supports. And I mean, like, I'm not going to say like this ain't, this ain't, I don't know. It's not going to be one of those situations like 9 11 inside job type shit because, like, this just, like, doesn't make sense why this would be an inside job. You know what I mean? A rim, a rim side rob. It doesn't make sense. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, what? Bro hat, like, look, look at this chat. Look at all the space. Look at all that space. You're telling me bro couldn't figure out how to just, like, how? How? What, what is this? Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Oh, yeah, here we go. This one was a good one. Shipping giant uh, Marsk confirmed that the Dolly ship operated and managed by Synergy Marine Group collided with Francis Scott Key Bridge, Maryland, around 1.27 a.m. Synergy Marine Group promotes day in their... Uh, uh, by the way, uh, Kyle, Jake is me. Thank you so much for the prime. I almost missed you. Did anti-white business practices cause this disaster? <laughs> Did it? Think about it. Just think about it, chat. Think. Did anti-white business practices cause this? What the hell are you talking about? Yes. I see, that's what I'm saying. It could be. And then we got this one, which I feel like has a good point. This one is probably the most realistic. How could those navigating the ship be so careless? This was a sudden obstacle. This wasn't a sudden obstacle. I'm guessing DEI. Captain is probably a black lesbian promoted above her skill set as she looks good in the PR photos. Now, I mean, <laughs> true? <laughs> As a black person, this is just an excuse to be racist towards us. Like, what the fuck? But you're not a black lesbian, though. This is... <laughs> this is just... <laughs> like, I don't know how people consistently find any way possible to be like, you know what? It's the woke left's fault. <laughs> Fucking ship crashes into a bridge. Bridge collapses. Black lesbian's fault. It's got to be. People who buy their check mark are wild. Yeah. It's obviously the libs. Can you check how many followers? Uh, I'll have to go. Yes, whatever. I can't find the original uh, thing, but he has 300 followers. <clears throat> I 
Bro loves Putin. Bro's a full-time yapper. Or wait. I, I kind of want to see if there's any more, any more crazy-ass takes here. Wait, it's kind of interesting to see, though. Oh, they did drop anchor chat. You know, what am I talking about? It should be in the replies. I don't want to assume the worst, but why are there so many angles? And why does every media outlet make it clear that there are exactly six missing people? That boat should have not been there. And what is in those crates? And what is in those crates? Damn it, thank you so much for the prime. What chat, what's in those crates? They had port authority cameras that are always on. Okay, not everything's a conspiracy. My question, why are the bridge support don't have collision buffers like most bridges do? Okay. How did the boat not know it would fit underneath it or was it an attack? Bro replied and posted his tweet. Wait, I got to see this. We will never know what really happened. Zeus NFT art. Oh, man, dude. I love this side of Twitter, dude. Oh, God. <clears throat> dude, it's so funny. Clearly, crates had an EMP to short circuit the engines. Yeah, of course. See, chat. There's something going on. There's something going on here that we don't we don't thoroughly know all the way. We don't know all the details. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.